has been clearly stated they have no identification documents and no fixed place of abode. And they are from the neighboring country that is in Uganda. That is the first and second, and the third is from the border, Kenyan side. And as such, they are a flight risk if released, they may not turn up at the hearing. Your Honor, from the legal jurisprudence, it's, you, you, your main concern at this stage is to determine as to whether, if granted bail, would they turn up for the hearing or not. And Your Honor, that ground of flight risk would be considered amongst other grounds that are already in the policy. And that brings me, Your Honor, to the second point. That is the seriousness of the charge facing the three accused persons. It's a serious felony kidnapping a police officer and it attracts a severe sentence. Indeed, Your Honor, as the investigating officer was winding up his testimony, he said that there is a likelihood of referring more severe charges. This is because since January when the victim, the police officer, disappeared. He has not been found to death. And there is a likelihood that he could have been killed. And if that be so, Your Honor, then the charge of murder is even more severe and attracts a more severe uh, sentence. And Your Honor, Your Honor all, this applies to all three. I read the affidavit by the police officer showing that uh, the third accused is said to have been using the, the mobile phone. So. This applies equally to the three accused persons. And Your Honor, thirdly, there is a public interest element in this matter, given that the person abducted is a police officer. who is actually supposed to be guarding members of the public. That then, Your Honor, gives me the point to argue that the three accused are a threat to members of the public if a police officer has been abducted in those circumstances. Thank you.
I would finally urge your honor to weigh the circumstances that what the prosecution has said and what we have said vis a vis the right of uh, the accused persons to be released on bail. And I am persuading the court to arrive at the decision that is in the interest of justice. But at this stage, the three accused should not be released on bond. And finally, Your Honor, what I forgot to highlight, the investigating officer talked about another suspect who went across to Uganda, whom he is investigating. And it was very clear in his affidavit that they they were together and they are likely to interfere with his work of accessing and arresting that 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 other officer, that other suspect who is in Uganda. <laughs> Your Honor, that is a total of four grounds that, in my opinion, form a compelling reason why Your Honor should decline to grant bond. That is all.